top of the morning to you laddies. My name is Jack Septicai and in this video I'm going to go over some tips and tactics on how to become a better recon soldier in Battlefield 3. Now let's get something out of the way straight off the bat. I'm calling it the recon class because that's what it is. Some of you out there, stop calling it the sniper class. You are not a sniper, you are a recon soldier. So these tips and tactics are going to address this class accordingly. So let's go over what that actually means. Recon is short for reconnaissance, which means your job as a recon soldier is to go out there and get information on the battlefield for everybody else. You're supposed to be going out there and gathering information on the battlefield, letting everybody else know what's going on. You should be spotting all the soldiers that you see, all the aircraft that you see, and all the tanks or other vehicles that you see. This lets your team know where enemies are, where they're going, and what they're up to. You're gonna have to come to grips with a few things if you're gonna play the recon class. You're gonna have to get used to hanging back and just spotting more than actually engaging with enemies. You're gonna have to get used to the fact that you're not gonna be in every single firefight that is happening on the map. And you're also gonna have to get used to the fact that you're probably not gonna be the highest scoring person on the map either. So now that we got those little things out of the way of what a recon soldier is supposed to be doing, let's go over some kit and loadouts. A good little rule of thumb that I found out from my experience as the recon class is to pick a gun and then pick a scope for it and then keep those for as long as you're playing as the recon class. What this is going to enable you to do is build up a lot of consistency in your shots because if you're new to the recon class and you're using a rifle with a high powered zoom scope you're not going to be perfect with it right off the bat. You're going to have to be able to judge distances, how the rifle handles, little niggly things like that. So. If you keep the same gun and the same scope, you're going to end up building up a consistency and you're going to get a really good feel for that gun and it's going to yield you greater results in the long run. The rifle that I'm using is the M40A5 and the sidearm that I'm using is the G18 Suppressed. I chose the M40A5 because of its high rate of fire. I'm not the most accurate person in the world with a rifle, so what this allows me to do is get a lot more shots downrange if I miss with the first one. What happens to me a lot is because I'm not the most accurate, I don't get headshots every single time. So when I fire this gun and I hit with the first shot, I'm able to chamber around really, really quickly and fire a second one into the enemy and hopefully kill him with the second one. I chose the G18 as my sidearm or my pistol because I like to have a lot of balance between my guns, no matter what loadout I'm picking, and you're going to want to do this for every class that you're playing in Battlefield. Compared to other classes and other guns, sniper rifles fire extremely slow, so the G18 being a semi-automatic pistol is a really good complement for this. You can take out guys at range with the sniper rifle, and if guys get in close then you have a really competent weapon that can take them out really quickly in close range too. For my gadgets, I'm using the mobile spawn point, of course, because you can't pick anything else for the recon class in the fourth slot. And as you can see here, I'm also using the MAV, or the MAV, as a lot of people like to call it. Whether you pick the MAV or the TUGS is kind of personal preference, I think. I chose the MAV because I think it has a lot more usefulness than the TUGS. TUGS, you just plant and leave, and it kind of promotes camping or just a static form of play. The MAV really lets you move around the map a lot more. And let's face it, the MAV works the exact same as the TUGS anyway, just with a shorter range. So you can take out your MAV and just leave it down beside you, and it's going to work the same as the TUGS anyway, but it's going to pick up people who are a lot closer rather than the TUGS who picks up people from further away. The MAV then gets further use when you make it airborne. So you can spot guys like you would normally running around as a soldier by hitting the spot button. And I'm not too sure about this part, but I think the MAV senses guys with its motion sensor regardless of height. So I could be one foot above a guy or a hundred feet above a guy and it's still going to detect them running around. But I'm not too sure about that part, so somebody please correct me in the comment section. So what I like to do is if I'm going to camp in an area or just hunker down for a few minutes and lay suppressing fire over a flag, I like to leave the MAV down beside me. What this allows me to do is detect guys who are going to come in close proximity to me, who are going to try and knife me or come up behind me and shoot me. And then when my guys are going in and trying to cap a flag from an enemy, I like to bring the MAV up into the air and spot all the guys who are around. So it gives my guys a really good feel for what's going on around that objective. A good tip then for spawn beacons is to try and plant them in locations where there's a roof above them. 
What this is going to enable you to do is actually come into the battle right where the spawn beacon is, and you're not going to spawn way overhead with a parachute. A parachute just gives away your location way too easily. Guys are either going to shoot you out of the air, or when you land, they're going to be prepared for you. So it's just a really bad idea to come in in a parachute. Always try and spawn right on the ground. When you're playing as the recon class, always take your time. If you see a guy in the distance, don't feel like you have to engage him straight away or you have to take a shot on him as soon as you see him running around. What that's going to end up doing is, if you take a shot at a guy and you don't hit him, he's going to get really suppressed, he's going to get scared, and he's just going to get up and run away. But if you take your time and wait for the enemy to settle, you're going to get a much better shot on them. Most of the time what will happen is they'll run around for a few minutes, then they'll stop, they'll crouch, they're prone if they're stupid, or they're going to end up shooting one of your allies. When this happens, then you're going to get a really good shot on them, either to the body or you're going to be able to get a really good headshot on them. Don't get greedy and think that you have to kill every single guy that you're shooting at. Headshots are preferable if you can get them, but a lot of the times your targets are moving around, so you're only going to be able to get a body shot on them. This is still really good, because body shots take a lot of damage off guys. What I found is that one of three things is going to happen. If you hit a guy with a body shot, you're either going to kill him outright because he had a bit of health taken off him already, you're going to hit him and it's going to take a lot of damage off him and it's going to scare him and he's going to run away from the objective, or it's going to help out your allies because you took a lot of health off him and then they can rush in and finish him off. So headshots are preferable, they will kill guys straight out no matter what distance you're at, no matter what gun you're using. But don't be afraid to take the body shot as well. Never ever go prone when you're playing as the recon class. And actually, I'd say that for any class. Just never go prone. It's a really bad idea and only do it if you have no other choice. Like you're trying to hide in a bush from a tank and waiting for it to roll by or anything. But just never go prone. It's going to make you such an easier target to hit. You move around really slow when you're prone and also it takes you forever to actually get back up out of that and run around again. And if another recon class is firing back at you, they'll hit you so much easier if you're actually lying down on the ground. And you'll see it a lot when I'm sniping other guys. If they're lying down on the ground, it's almost like a free kill because they're just so much more easier to predict. A good tactic that should almost be like a reflex to you after a while is if you're engaging guys at close to medium range, if you hit them with a rifle shot and you don't kill them, switch straight to your pistol and then finish them off with that. This is a really good tactic for taking guys out quickly and it sort of kills them before they'll have time to actually react to what's going on. Yeah, 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 I got knifed. I'm such a noob. Shut up. Moving along. My last tip of the day for playing as recon is to spot everything. Spot, 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 spot. Spam that Q button or whatever your spot button actually is. But that is your job. You are recon. You are reconnaissance. You should be spotting everything. Letting your allies know where the enemy is and what they're doing. So whether it be a mine on the ground, or a soldier running around, or a vehicle, or an aircraft, or anything at all, you should be absolutely crushing your spot key. A lot of the times what I like to do is if I'm engaging an enemy, I'll actually spot them while I'm aiming. So I'm aiming and trying to acquire a target at the same time. So what that does is if you miss it or you die, your, en your allies are going to know where the enemy is, so they're going to be able to finish it off. So spot absolutely everything that you can see. And that does it for my tips on how to play as the recon class. I know a lot of the tips that I was saying I didn't actually implement during the gameplay that you can see, but I'm not perfect. Listen to what I'm saying more than what I'm actually doing, but I hope these tips can help some people and if not They can shed some light on certain parts of the recon class But thank you guys so much for watching click the annotations at the end of the video for more stuff that Jacksepticeye has done And punch that like button in its face but Thank you guys, and I will see all you dudes in the next video